Hey everybody, welcome to Hello. Britpop's React. Today we've got something a bit different. It's Marshmallow uh, mm -hmm. X, uh, Jonas Brothers. And this okay. is Leave Before You Love Me. So pick this one because right. uh, my partner said to me, she said, have you heard of this song? Because I really like it and I think you guys would love it. Uh, and I went, no, I don't know anything about this one. So okay. I don't. So this is going to be quite interesting to see what this is going to be like. Because I'm interested to see what she thinks I might like. Um, okay. And, uh, uh, you know where where it what it is and whether I like it or not. So yeah, let's do it. And it's a big okay. song apparently. It's in All the right. Um, well, I know of Marshmallow and I know of the Jonas Brothers. I didn't know they uh, did anything together. Um, I think. Uh, Nick Jonas has appeared on Carpool Karaoke with um, James Corden. So we've got the Jonas Brothers, American band formed in 2005. Uh, they gained popularity from their appearances on the Disney Channel. Three brothers, Kevin, Joe and Nick. Uh, they've released five albums so far. They were, in 2008, they were nominated for the Best New Artist Award on the 51st Grammy Awards and won the award for Breakthrough Artists at the American Music Awards. That's the Jonas Brothers. Wow. Christopher Comstock, born 1992, known professionally as Marshmallow, American electronic music producer and DJ. His song Silence, Wolves, Friends, Happier and Alone, none of those ring a bell, been certified multi-platinum in several countries and appeared in the top 30 of the Billboard Hot 100. He first gained international recognition in 2015 for publishing remixes online. Hmm, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's um, see Give what this, this one's go. about then. Let's try it. All right. I see you calling. I didn't want to leave you like that. It's five in the morning. Yeah, yeah. A hundred on the dash. Cause my wheels are Okay, I like it. I do like it. So two big influences so far. Okay, yeah. what do you think they are? Oh, now he's put me on the spot. Uh, keyboards. Two big influences. Two, uh, two, I'm... two people that I really I can hear straight away. So as soon as it starts, it sounds very similar to the weekend. Okay. Yeah, we've done the weekend. Yeah, we've it? done yeah. the weekend. So, uh, and then also that bit there, I'm getting. I actually get in like a George Michael feel from like a, the Christmassy one, you know, like the Christmassy George oh, Michael. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So when it, when it goes back around that loop again, just think about, yeah. think about like the George Michael Christmassy. But yeah, I like it. And I think it's got a good beat, a uh, good song. Um, yeah, it's like a, not normally my sort of tracksy sort of thing, but I can see why she sort of said, you know, I probably like it. So uh, it's got that sort of beat to it that I, uh, I enjoy. Yeah, I mean, it is it is a pop, poppy ballady thing, isn't it? I mean, I, I see here in, in the notes it's been listed as a sweet, hooky pop ballad. I mean, it does sort of strike me as kind of very 80s Ahari type thing, something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah. Did you get that? Yeah, very much so. <laughs> very much so. And I know why, another reason why I like it is because it's got, um, there's another classic, it's the bass in the background. There's right. An, is it has an 80s hook. It, yeah. Yeah, I very mean, much definitely... so. I cannot think of what the song is, but there's a very no. distinct 80s bass line on that. Um, and again, it's really well layered and it's only, it's under three minutes as well, which is quite incredible. Um, okay. I mean, as I say, to me, it, it strikes very much of all that sort of, you know, back in the day, 80s, Giorgio Moroda, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's somebody in there that, you know, it sounds very much like to me from, from back in the day. Hmm, okay. There you go, pop ballad. Pop ballad. Pop ballad, bit of eighties, bit of weekend, bit of George Michael, squish yeah. them all together, whack a DJ on shot. That's what you got. <laughs> yep. Leave before you love me. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. Uh, it was okay. It was upbeat. I mean, lyrically, it wasn't. You know, but I I said that about the um, the Ed Sheeran one. Then the more I listened to it afterwards, you know, the the more it grew on me, and now I really love it. So I'm not going to say too much about uh, you know uh, things like that. As a one-off, I think. The, as soon as you said the weekend, it, we did that song, didn't we? And it, it is exactly like that one from the weekend. Um, so yeah, very eighties, very sort of pop ballady. Yeah. All right, let's score. Fantastic. Then. I liked it. It's gonna, yeah. it's gonna get a nine point two from me. Wow. Yeah, I, I liked it. it. Yeah. Okay. It's only well, a short uh, song, but it had, yeah, I mean, it had a lot of influences <laughs> that I like. And you know I like short songs. <laughs> oh, if yeah. BBC keeps whacking in seven-minute songs over here, and they just drive me crazy. So a nice short song with the influences that I like. So it's only my personal opinion. No, I'm yep. too. Yours is probably going to be... A lot yeah, old, hey. you know, older generation, I can, I can, I can, you know, I can concentrate for over six minutes, so, you know, I don't mind the long ones. Um, this, to me, was a, a little poppy ballady thing. Um I, I will come in a slightly more conservative old person, 8.6. All right, cool. So an 8.9. Okay. There three you go. and three. 8.9. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Brilliant. From us here at BPR. Um, like the video if you yeah. enjoyed our reaction, uh, enjoyed what we had to say about it. Come on our journey right down there in that bottom corner under BP2 over there. Hit the subscribe button and you know check out our channel we've got all sorts on our channel from k-pop to rock to heavy metal to indie brit pop everything's on there everything's uh, there so, so have a good look around and and come with us and let us know what else we should be doing in the comments because we like to read yeah. all. and what did you think of this one which who, who are you going with bp1 bp2 hmm. bp1 it's, obviously it's a, obvs, obvs. well obvs. <laughs> brilliant brilliant thanks for watching everyone it's goodbye from me goodbye from him marshmallowhead <laughs>